branding like a leader. Two different things. So I had a phenomenal, phenomenal conversation with the client yesterday. I'm going to try to break this down. I'm going to try to recreate this teaching because it was so important, so important for the individual to get it. And I want you to get this too because this is where people get caught up. They get caught up between having a gift, having a business, and having a brand. Three different things. Gift, business, and brand. So here's the gift. Here's the business. <laughs> People have a business. And here's the brand. Very few individuals have a brand. Coming from the gift, that's natural. That's talent. That's God-given. Business is having a mind for business, being able to create revenue with your gift. Branding, having a brand, is when people come to you because you've established yourself in the market and no one can take your place. You're unique. You're what people call a unicorn. There's no one like you. So the individual was saying, Sean, how do I get from where I'm at to where I want to go in my business? They have a gift. They have a business but they want to be free. They're yearning for freedom and they're not where they want to be. And I said, the key to that, sir, the key to being free and going where you want, doing what you want with who you want is a brand. The world is gifted. Everybody has gifts. Very few people use their gifts significantly enough to create a business and even fewer of people who have a business orchestrate their business in a way so that it becomes a brand. Big difference. So the individual said, how do I get there? How do I walk from where I am? This is where you are. You have a gift. You have some, some talents, some skills. You may even have a business. But how do you get from where you are to where you want to be? And I said, the way you get from where you are to where you want to be is through creating a brand. Because your brand creates a bridge. It creates a bridge. So I want you to think about a bridge. Now don't, don't, don't knock me. I'm going to try to help you out here. Okay, so how do we get from where we are to where we want to be? The brand. Here's the bridge. Here's the bridge. What does it look like to create a brand out of your gift and out of your business? You are going to have to invest heavily. So your first investment might be 5K. Myself, two master's degrees, continuing on for my doctorate, multiple certifications in between, multiple courses on top of that. Multiple courses from all kinds of people for all kinds of structs, psychological dialects. I've got super, I don't even remember how many certifications I've got. I, I got tired of hanging them. I've got one master's degree on the wall. Soon to be accompanied by another and then the doctorate. That's what will be on the wall. Not all of the other stuff. All of the other stuff are things that you do in order to create your brand awareness. So you want people to become familiar with your name so much that it's synonymous. This is the name of my company. The name of my company is Mindshare Leadership. Mindshare is when you become synonymous with that which you do. So everybody knows you as a coach or everybody knows you as a speaker. When your name is synonymous with that, that's Mindshare. That is a brand. So how do we get from here to where we want to go. And I was telling the individual, you might have to invest 5K here. Some people think $5,000 is going to help them get where they want to be. So I have clients who have been trying to get this thing right for 10 years. 10 years, easily, five years. How long have you been in business, Bob? I've been in business for five years. Okay, well, how long do you think it's going to take? Well, I figure, you know, three months if I do the right thing. And I'm like, how do you expect to get where you want to go over here to complete freedom in 90 days if you've been trying to do something for 10 years and getting it wrong. That's the equivalent of me giving you the blue pill. 
the blue pill, the magic pill. You're going you're gonna to lay down 280 pounds and you're going to wake up 120 pounds and cut. It's not going to happen. It's a process. So what is coaching? Coaching is a future-focused, goal-and-action-oriented process. A future-focused, goal-and-action-oriented process. Emphasis on the process because it takes time. You're constructing a bridge. You're constructing a bridge to the brand. So five stacks, that's a, that's a, that's a good investment. But what about 10? When you put 10 on top of that, that brings you more. That brings you more expertise, more specialization, more credentials, more credibility, more evidence. And you think, well, I've invested $15,000. Now I should be able to just sit back and get paid for the rest of my life. What is it that you really want out of your life? Do you really just want to have $15,000 in the bank? Does that look like freedom and where you want to go? Not really, right? Not, not too much, right? Now, where is this money coming from? If you didn't, if you weren't born into money, this is where entrepreneurs get it, you know, this is the pain point. This is the pain point for a lot of my clients. Sean, where do I get this money? This costs money. Coaching costs money. Your prices are $20,000, $50,000. I said, I know because it costs money to build a bridge. Bridges don't happen in and of themselves. Look at the bridges that you cross to go somewhere. On the end of that, there's a, there's a whole government building, it looks like. That's a bridge authority, tunnels and bridges authority. There's a, there, this is a municipality. This is an organization. You're building a world, guys. You're looking for freedom. You don't ever want to work again a day in your life. And you want to be able to help others so that they don't have to work another day in their life. You want to free yourself and free your family. Listen, I get it. I want the same thing for you. I truly, truly do. But you're going to have to invest a lot of money. A lot of money and a lot of time to get from where you are. <laughs> and let's be honest. The smile can easily be a frown because people don't like to work for other people. People don't like to be strapped for cash. People don't like to have bills, have more month at the end of the, have more time or more bills at the end of the month than money. Money runs out in the middle of the month, bills keep coming. Money runs out at the end of the, at the beginning, at the middle of the month and time keeps going. There's no money match. Like money doesn't match the month. That's painful. That's hurtful, especially when you have a gift and you're supposed to have a business. As soon as you put yourself out there and you say you've got a business, people expect you to be rich because they don't understand what business really entails. They don't understand what business looks like. And then even less people understand what branding is. That's what I want to show you. That's what I want to show you. This is the building of a bridge or the building of a brand. So maybe we spend 25K here. That's a nice investment. That's a heavy investment. That's what one of my coaching packages look like. So now you're not in step one or step two, you're actually in step three. You're in phase three, but you had to spend some money to earn some money to be able to pay that price. Right? You had to earn some money to be able to spend some money to get to this price that you can now invest with me. So you're over here. Where are you taking this money from? You know where you're taking it from? And this is why entrepreneurs stop. It's coming from your job. It's coming from your house. It's coming from your savings. Sean is not going to lie to you. It's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm going to be completely honest with you, completely transparent with you. Your money's gonna come from your job. You're gonna have to go to work. You're gonna have to have a job. You might have a business and a job for five years, 10 years. This is what it looks like. So you got a job and you got a house. You have to take some money out of your home. You might have to get some equity. You have to go to the bank and sit down. Savings. You've been saving money. There are multiple investments that you can make. The most investment that pays the most is the investment that you put in yourself. So take your money out of the bank where it's just sitting there. 
Your money's just sitting there collecting what? Collecting dust, not collecting interest. Surely not making money for you with that 0.01% or 0.02% that you get in interest. That's absolutely nothing. It's a rob and it's a steal. Your money's just sitting there with cobwebs on it. As a matter of fact, what the bank is doing is the bank is investing your money. The bank is doing what I'm telling you to do, and they're flipping your money. They're investing. They're making multiple large investments. This is why if you go to the bank and you say, I need to withdraw my $25,000, they're going to say, hold on, Mr. Franklin. Why, are you, why do you need $25,000? And you're like, well, I put it in. Let me just get my money. They're going to say, hold on, Mr. Franklin. You're going to have to fill out these forms. And while you're filling out the forms, they're trying to find your money <laughs> because they don't have it. Their money is always moving. Your money needs to be always moving. You need to invest your money. So here you are, $25,000 investment. You've put in $10,000. You put in $5,000 before that. So now your investments are almost $50,000. Almost $50,000, closer to 50 than nothing. And you might have no return. Hopefully you're going to get some return. If you if you met the right people over here and you made the right investment, you're going to make some money. But the only money that you're going to make is not going to allow you to pay back over here. You're going to have to reinvest it. You're going to have to reinvest it in something that's going to bring you enough money to make a heavier what? A heavier investment. A heavier investment in brand equity. You're building your brand, brand equity. People are seeing that you're consistent. So now you've been in the game for five years, four years, consistently plugging and punching at the wall. Consistently plugging and punching at the wall. Consistently tweaking and fine tuning your brand. Tweaking and fine tuning your business because it's not a brand yet. <laughs> it's not a brand yet. So what's this? $40,000. Okay. But you want to be free. Free, free. What does that look like? What does that look like to go from here to here? You've got to walk across the bridge that is a brand. The bridge that is a brand. So if you invest 25, 10, 5, you're so close. People stop when they're so close. And it's because they've spent so much money and so much time. And they're like, I can't do it anymore. I tap out. Get me out of here. Get me out of the game, coach. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I can't do it. My wife is about to leave me. My kids need to go to college. My, my, my people, they're defaulting on my tuition. I'm in debt. This is what it looks like. If you listen to people who have been massively, massively successful, all of them, they will tell you horror stories about evictions. They will tell you horror stories about divorces. They will tell you horror stories about family unrest, nervous breakdowns, bankruptcies, all kinds of things take place in the building of a brand. Sean is not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you what it looks like. It can go this way. It has to go this way. There's only one way it can go as long as you are consistent and you keep plugging and you keep punching. You can't stop. But along the line, along the way, there's going to be some trials. There's going to be some tribulations. There's going to be some troubles because you can't expect to get to freedom without having to fight for it. You can't expect to get to a complete autonomy and reliance on yourself and complete independence and self-governance without some kind of conflict because it's not built for you to be able to do it. So you're going against the grain. You're swimming against the current. You're fighting against all of the people that are coming in the wrong direction and you're going, you're trying, you know you're going in the right direction, but there's a lot of forces. There's a lot of energy going in the other direction, that you have to beat the resistance with consistency. So here we come. You've made it so far. You've done so much. But more is required. More is required. And it's always, it's always the biggest investment. It's always the biggest investment that locks it in 
that seals the deal. It's always taking the biggest risk. So this is when you say, I'm going to put up the house. I'm going to do it. This is when you take your last year or this year's car and you turn it in and you get a car that costs $5,000, maybe $2,000. And you take that and you combine it with everything that you've earned from here. You empty this out. You put that together with this. You invest it all and you bet on yourself. You Bet on yourself and you go for it. When you go for the gusto, <laughs> when you make the big investment, boom, it's so fast after that that things begin to happen. You, you finish the construction. You finish the construction. You've put it together now. You've got all the pieces. You learned so much here. You learned so much. You became so much more than who you were here with no investments. And you learned so much more here when you went from a $5,000 investment to a $10,000 investment. It transformed you. It changed you. And that's why you couldn't go back. That's why you couldn't go back. You were so far from home already. You were so far from comfort and safety. You can't go back after spending 15 stacks. You can't go back and say, you know what, I give up. I just, I just threw that money away, don't worry about it. No, you gotta get that back. And sometimes that means making a heavier investment, but that heavier investment changes you even that much more because you learned so much. You may have written a book through this time. You may have begun to speak in this time. You've got clients in this time. You've got, you're building your brand equity. I want you to remember that word. You're building your brand equity. You're building your brand equity. And then you put the caveat on it. Boom. You put the caveat on it. You can't deny a person that invests this kind of money. You can't deny a person that invests that kind of money because you don't invest that kind of money from the rip. That kind of investment is built on those kind of investments and these kind of investments are built on these kind of investments and these kind of investments are. <laughs> you get the deal. You get the drift. You understand what I'm saying to you. This is what freedom looks like. Freedom looks like a road. Freedom looks like a bridge. Freedom looks like 10 years invested. Freedom looks like five years after 10 years of doing it wrong. Invested, reinvested, so that you're fully invested in your freedom and you don't have anything guts to the wall. This is what it looks like, backs to the wall. Everything, the world is in front of you. You don't even know what the rear view looks like. You take the rear view down and you break it and throw it out the window. Cause you ain't got no idea what it looked like and you don't want no idea of what it would look like to stop now. This is what building a brand is. Over here, <laughs> over here, it's big smiles. Big smiles and big rewards because you finally made it. You finally made it. Everybody who said you wouldn't do it here when they said you were crazy here, when the person who you thought loved you but didn't really love you left you right here because they couldn't see it. They thought you were a lunatic. You thought they were, they thought they, that you were trying to destroy them. They thought you were trying to rob, steal, and cheat. When you get here and you make the kind of investment, when you accumulate, so I want you to think about another term, compounded interest, compounded interest, compounded investments. When you get here, it's not just 50. No, it's 90, $90,000, $120,000, that you've not sunk, but invested in the building of your bridge, in the building of your expertise, in the building of your brand, in the building of your brand equity. <laughs> and now you're here and you've got your wings. You've learned so much along the way and nobody can tell you anything. People 
who have obtained their freedom walk different. They talk different. They feel different. Their skin is different. They, they sound and smell different because they've done what it takes. They've been an innovator. They've created something where there was nothing. They've taken their dreams. They've learned how to take their dreams and make them a tangible product and make them a tangible reality. Freedom. Freedom is in your brand. And that's what I want to teach you. That's what I want to show you. How to get your freedom through your brand. When you become branded like a leader, when you become branded like a leader, you know what this process looks like. You know what it feels like. So what I've done is I've condensed the past 20 years, the past 15, 10 years, I've condensed that into a two month program, into a two month program. And you're going to learn all about it. You're going to learn all about it. In this program, you're going to learn your five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. You're going to learn the 10 PD framework. How to write 10 pages a day and become a brand authority in one month, basically overnight. You're going to learn what it took me all of this time to learn, all of this money and more to learn. You're going to get this in two months. <laughs> You're going to get this in two months. I, could, I couldn't have made it any smaller. I couldn't have made it any tighter. If I sucked all the air out of it, I still couldn't make it any tighter or any smaller or more compressed. But this is high level learning. This is such an intense learning that you're going to get when you become branded like a leader, you're going to learn how to become the brand, how to put the world on notice, <laughs> how to put the world on notice. So you're everywhere. They know your name. You're going to change your attire to match your desire. Hmm. You're going to change your attire to match your desire. So when people see you, they see the brand. When they see, when they think of you, they think the brand. You're going to learn your follow-up system, what I call the 501. You're going to learn the 501 system for client engagement. You're only going to learn how to attract your ideal client. So the right marketing does two things. It, it pulls and pushes at the same time. It pushes and pulls at the same time. It's a, it's a dual response. It's a dual activity. So your, mar your messaging, your marketing pulls in your ideal client while repelling your unideal client at the same time. So you don't even feel what it's like to talk to people who don't want to spend money with you, <laughs> to talk to people who are not fit for your product or service because you're going to learn one messaging, one messaging system. And then you're going to learn omnipresence. You're going to learn how to be everywhere at once. I'm going to show you systematically how to be everywhere at once. LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, their email, their phone, their inbox, their text, their heads, their hearts. I'm going to show you what it took me all of these years and much more money, much more money. All of the courses that I've taken, all of the years of education that I've taken, I've sunk two master's degrees worth. I, I'm a student right now in two doctorates. This is no game for me. This is life for me. And this is freedom for you. This is freedom for you. This is what it looks like. When you become branded like a leader, you'll no longer have to follow anybody. So I want you to, I want you to come right now. I want you to come right now. Get a call with me, sign up to call with me, schedule a call with me, get on the phone with me and let me walk you through this step by step. So there will be no confusion. You will be completely focused and completely locked in because I'm going to save you all of this money. 
You're not going to have to. You're probably over here somewhere already or over here somewhere already. And you've spent $50,000. You've spent 10 years and $50,000. You've spent five years and $25,000 or more. I'm going to put it all back in your pocket. <laughs> I'm going to put it all back in your pocket. And I'm going to show you how to make a year's wage in one month. My first month cracking $35,000 in one month changed everything for me. I knew I had it. That was the time it took the scales in my favor. I knew I had gotten over here to the promised land. I knew that I had made it over here and things were about to change. When that first month went by and I made $35,000, I said, that's some people's year salary. Oh, we doubling that. Oh, we doubling that. We tripling that. And I'm going to package it up because I know everything that I did. I'm going to package it up. So that's what you're going to receive in the branded like.